Okay, hi. One of my goals for 2018 was to be a little bit more humble. So I would like to make a special announcement that as of today, I will be changing my title, okay? I will no longer refer to myself as Luna David the Great. That's right, as of today, I am just David the Great. I think that's much better. Okay, anyways, hi. So Valentine's Day, this, yes, this is the one. So Valentine's Day is right around the corner, all right? And love is in the air. Oh, not for everyone, but for those of you who are single, you know, like, they, don't worry about it, right? There's nothing wrong with being single. Your existence does not need to be validated by another person, all right? Like, okay, anyways, back to the topic. So yeah, love is in the air, all right? And uh, for the, for, and yes, this is the one. Today I wanted to make a video for my homies out there, all right, uh, who, who's trying to get, uh, to, trying to talk to a girl who is obsessed with BTS, so like, every girl ever. But like, you know, it's difficult, it's a lot of stuff going on. All the names sound the same, all the guys probably look the same to you. I'm here today to help you out, all right? Me and my wife. So in case you didn't know, I am a scientist and I, you know, I, I know things, all right? What my team and I have found through years of research is that you can tell a lot about a girl based on her bias in BTS. It's science. So that's why I've collected all the data that we collected in our collection uh, to create the Bangtan horoscopes so I can spread my wisdom to you guys. And yes, this is Awan. On your first date or before your first date, it's important for you to figure out what's important, right? Skip the relevant stuff, like it doesn't matter what her age is, her birthday, her favorite songs, favorite food, favorite movies, that's not relevant. What's important information is what her favorite member in BTS is. That's what you need to know. And before we start, just a warning that this is science and it really doesn't matter whether or not you believe in it, okay? It's still the truth. You can't make this shit up, okay? You know, anyone who holds a wand knows what they're talking about. You can't, where else would I get this? Right, you gotta be, you gotta be board certified to have a wand. So if her favorite member is RM, then she probably likes guys who are nice, kind, gentle, assertive, and smart. She's not really vain, and she probably likes it if you make decisions instead of beating around the bush. She values intelligence, probably a Ravenclaw, and she'd probably correct you if you call him Ratmon instead of RM. So on your first date, take her to a coffee shop, read some books together, and for Valentine's Day, you should probably write her a poem. <laughs> her bias is J-Hope, she's probably really into outgoing and funny guys. You gotta be ready to show off your extrovert side, right? Like, but don't fake it. Take her ice skating, hiking, bowling, you know, things that are fun or memorable on your first date. And for Valentine's Day, you should get her a ticket to see a live play. If her bias is Jin, She's into like quiet pretty boys. Your words are supposed to be quality over quantity. Say more by saying less. She probably loves K-dramas and is probably still watching Boys Over Flowers in 2018. She's probably gonna be a hopeless romantic. So on your first date, you should take her to like an arcade like Dave and Buster's or a carnival and win her one of those big giant teddy bears or, or something, you know, like, you know, like how they do it in the movies. And for Valentine's Day, buy her a scarf and some gloves because that's cute. If her bias is Jimin, she's probably into like hot, sexy dudes. And she's probably a freak. You know what I'm For real, you're gonna have to start lifting, bro. You're gonna have to get that six pack, get some muscles, you know, get really good at dancing. For your first date, you should take her to a nice, fancy restaurant with some piano music in the background, some candle lights, you know what I'm saying? And for Valentine's Day, you should probably buy her a watch. I'm not gonna say what brand, because this is not a sponsored video, but you can go on my Instagram and check out one of my posts and you can use my promo code. You know, I want a Dessa. Dessa. I want a Lila. Okay, so if her bias is sugar, she's into bad boys, so you just gotta like not care about like anything. You're gonna appreciate bluntness and guys who know how to show their emotions. If the waiter comes out and asks you guys what you wanna eat, you just gotta be like, I don't give a f bro. I don't care, dude. And I don't care. Ain't nobody care about what they're gonna eat. And for Valentine's Day, you shouldn't get her anything because that shows that you care too much. And why should you have to buy her something anyways? T tell her to get you something. Okay, just kidding. But you gotta be assertive, right? And you gotta have a lot of swag and act like you don't care, but you, you should still care about some stuff. Alright, if her bias is V, she's probably not into guys who watch videos like this, to be honest. You should already be a lady killer to have a chance, alright? But since you're watching, you might as well keep watching because you, you give me some views, you know. My view is struggling these days. Yeah, so you gotta, you gotta know how to achieve that bad boy look, but then be really sweet once she gets to know you. On your first date, you can take her to the movies or something, alright? And make sure you put your arms around her when, when, when the chance arises. Or if, or if you go watch a horror movie, you can, uh, you can offer to sell your hand-holding services for uh, some free, free kisses. One kiss per minute. For Valentine's Day, it doesn't really matter what you get her because she'll be all over you already, if you follow my advice. 
If her bias is Jungkook, her standards are way too high, and I can't help you. I mean, that is a perfect human being. It's almost not fair. I mean, look at him. He looks really good, he dances really well, his voice is amazing, it's not fair. Somebody messed up up there. I ain't having this. Why can't I be him? Hmm? Somebody wanna tell me why I can't be him? Okay, anyways, I'm pretty sure that's everybody in BTS. If I'm wrong, then damn. But you know, this, uh, it, but this is science, you know? Like, so anyways, I hope that helped you understand uh, girls a little bit more. And you know, we're still, we're still, um, collecting data. So right now, we're only sure that this applies to girls. We don't know if it applies to guys or not. We'll probably follow up with another video once we get more concrete data, right? But as of right now, this is facts. Hashtag facts. So anyways, I hope this has been useful for you guys. And for any girls watching this, please let me know if this is true. I mean, I know it's true, but please reaffirm that this is true for me. Anyways, that's all I have for today. So let me know in the comment section below if my description of you was correct or not. If you can relate, if you can relate, whether or not I'm wrong. I mean, I'm not wrong. This is science. But in case you, your opinion, which is wrong, says that I'm wrong, then uh, so, so let me know. But I'm pretty sure I'm right. This is science. You can't really make it up. I will see you guys next time. Yes, this is a one.